Oh, Max. Hi, guys. Good evening. Wow. Hello, oh, Max. Max. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, can you tell where I am? I got a clue. <laughs> I'm at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas with this incredible view behind me of the strip. Now, judges, you first met Max when he performed his magic and mentalism on the online auditions we did. Since I can't be there with you physically, you know, on the stage, I'm going to try to connect with you guys mentally. Are diamantes. Oh wow. my god. Wow. <laughs> I grew up in a really small town. From an early age, I kind of had the ability to read people, kind of sense what was going on in situations. To kind of entertain myself, I would always kind of put on little shows for my family and my neighbors and started to get a little name around town. And when I was 14 years old, I got my big break. My neighbor hired me to perform for their daughter's sixth birthday. My dream my entire life has been to have my own show on the Las Vegas Strip. And so really, I spent the last 20 years kind of honing this skill set. I finally made the move to Vegas to pursue my dreams, but I had no opportunities to perform. Part of my identity is being a performer, and when, and when suddenly you can't do that thing that you identify so heavily with, you feel like you've lost a part of yourself. And so, uh, excuse me, <laughs> it was really tough. Um, now being asked by the judges to perform again, I feel an insane amount of pressure. This is what the last 20 years have been about. I gotta show them something they've never seen before so I can get one of those final spots in the live shows. The last time that I performed you guys, I performed for Sophia and Simon mentioned that he'd like to be involved next time. And so I thought tonight, Simon, I'd actually try and get inside of your head. Are you up for it? Yeah, could be a scary place. <laughs> but before we begin, I want to point out this envelope that's on the table here. This is going to become very important at the end of my act. But for now, I'm going to leave it over here where you guys can keep your eye on it the entire time. Okay? Simon, on the table, what I want you to notice is that I have a number of photos of you and your fellow judges. I'd like to see them here. Yep. Howie there. I'm going to lay them out on the table so you can get a good look at all of them. Heidi, photo of yourself right there. Sophia. And of course, America's favorite host, Terry Crews. Yes. And then at the top of your screen, you guys will see we have a matching set of photographs that are currently face down. So the object tonight, Simon, is for you to feel a connection to your fellow judges through the photos, through the screen. Okay. Now, before we begin, I need to understand the way that you're wired and the way that you think. So I'm curious, Simon, what is a personality trait that you admire most in another person? Loyalty. In that case, I think we'll start with this one. Simon, I want you to tell me who you're feeling a connection to right now. Terry. Terry, you can see how this starts to shape up. Simon, what is something that you own that you wouldn't sell for any amount of money? The first picture of my son, Eric, being born lying on my chest. Oh, Beautiful. I want to see that. Me too. Starting to understand how you're wired. I'm going to go with this one right here. Tell me, which judge are you feeling a connection to right now? Sophia. I like that you're taking the time to really feel these connections. Um, Simon, one last question. What is your most vivid memory from your childhood? Perhaps a story you've never told anyone. Getting my first Skeletrics car set. You call it slot racing here. Oh, In England, yeah, we yeah. call it Skeletrics. It's a car racing set. We'll go with this one right here and tell me now, who are you feeling a connection to? Howie. Howie. Uh, we're cars with my favorite. On now. Where would you like this one to go, Heidi or yourself? Heidi. Heidi. We're going to place that right there. And then one final photo, of course. Me. They're right in front of you, yep. Yeah. Now, Simon, you have a very important decision to make. I'm going to count to five. When I get to five, you're going to tell me whether you want to leave everything as it is or whether you want to switch any two photographs. It's up to you. I'm going to count to five, and then you'll let me know. One, two, three, four, five. No, I'm going to keep them where they are. You're going to trust your instincts and keep them where they are. I'm glad yeah. you said that, because what you'll notice is that over here on the end, you actually matched Howie with Howie. <laughs> over here on the end, you matched Heidi with Heidi. No. Over here, you ah! matched Simon with Simon, no! Sophia with Sophia, oh! and Terry with Terry, that is five for five, a perfect match. But look, 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 I told you guys I would raise the bar. Okay. And tonight I wanted to go not just for improbable, but impossible. And I made my boldest prediction ever and I placed it over here inside of this envelope. 
and I asked you to name a personality trait you love in a person, and your answer was loyalty. Oh. What? Now, if that wasn't crazy enough, we continued on. I asked you for a memory, something you said you would never forget, and you said it was a picture of your son, oh. Eric. Now, then I asked you for a memory, something from your childhood, something no one could know. And you told me it was getting your first car set. Oh. You want some more talent? I want some more talent. Keep watching and subscribe.